All right, it's Mary's helpful, uh, helpful life advice. All right, I want you to think of something. I want you to think of your uh, life if you're struggling or you're having hard times, no matter what your status is, no matter what your um, situation is. I, I really, I'm not even touching on anything political or anything uh, racial, nothing like that. Any person, if you're listening, um, and you're having problems achieving anything, if you're having problems achieving a goal, or you find that um, you're in a rut, or you're having a block of some sort in your life, um, or you're um, just having a difficult time, you're depressed, which I suffer from a lot, um, I want you to think uh, in a positive, negative uh, frame of mind. Because it's important, whatever frame of mind you have, it will definitely result and have a great um, influence on the outcome, ultimately, of not only where you'll be, but those around you. So listen to this little theory. I make these videos because I'm tired of talking to myself in my house. So I'm hoping somebody can utilize any of this. Think of yourself and what you're trying to achieve as long as it's not trying to, you know, cause hurt onto someone else because that'll always come back to you. But think of yourself in a pot or whatever your goal is in a positive uh, manner, all right? So if you wanted um, a promotion, um, if you are having family problems and you just want to get, you just want to have peace or just peace, feel successful in any way, shape, or form. Think of yourself as an apple. I know, wait a minute, hear me out. Think of yourself as an apple. And think of the things that are coming against you or the things that are um, your obstacles or the things that are stopping you and you don't understand or, or it's really getting you down. It's almost crushing you. You're the apple and you're the positive. Where you're going is what that apple can do for you but others. What's stopping you and doesn't want you to achieve to be in an apple, whatever it is, whatever doesn't want you to achieve whatever the apple is, doesn't want you even to know what the apple is, doesn't, you don't, you're, whatever it is, think of it as a knife, as a negative, okay? It doesn't, it's going to cut you. It's going to cut you in slices because it doesn't want you to be a whole apple. In other words, whatever situation you want to achieve, think of it as it's trying to stop you. It's trying to destroy that. Okay? But a knife can only cut you into different slices. And not only cut you into different slices, as many times as it slices you, what is that? That's more apple to go around correct? That's more slices to fortify your goal. It gives you more reason. It gives you more allies. It gives you more resources. Um, so the knife is actually doing you service. Not only when you cut an apple, what do you have? You see the seeds, which means what? If it's a fertile apple, that means not only has it cut it, cut the idea or the ultimate goal into several slices so that you have more resources and more options. It can fortify on a bigger scale. But that knife that tried to destroy that has opened up and released seeds in which more apple trees may grow. So that not only has it helped 
help the situation, not only has it broadened and promoted your your uh, whatever ultimate goal, but long lasting, it's provided a way to help others maybe fortify themselves without it even knowing that that's what it's doing. I want you to always remember that, that if your apple or your ultimate goal or whatever it is you're trying to achieve or whatever it is in your life is good and fertile, means the seeds are going to be fertile, means the apple's not going to be rotten, and it's going to fortify, it's going to promote, perpetuate you to higher levels than what you thought the knife was going to do and destroy the apple. But no, the knives in the world or the knife situations in the world actually not only do you better, but what? Overflows your and helps and promotes not just you, those around you, those that come out, uh, uh, experience you, or um, even hear of you. I want you to remember that, and may God bless you.